so I'm going to show a clip. What we'll do is we'll just run it through. Game doesn't matter. The game's irrelevant. What we're going to talk about are the UI elements. So what the different add-ons are, what the different weak auras are, and what they do, why I've got them, that kind of thing. I'm going to keep it paused at the start. And I'm going to quickly just talk about what we can see straight away on the screen. So first of all, the obvious stuff that jumps at you is essentially the raid frames, which we've got just here, and the arena frames, right? These are the two main things that are on the screen. And this is actually something that I'm probably going to decrease the size of a little bit going forward, maybe like 20%, because I think it's too big at the moment. It's taking up too much screen real estate, and I'll be able to get the info exactly the same but with it slightly smaller i'll be able to see more of my screen so this is this is one thing i'm looking to do but uh yeah this is how it is for now and the add-on we've got on the on the left here is omni cd and this is really customizable i'll just bring up the menu in game and you can change the position of all the uh all the things let me just get a thingy one up so you can see Right, so you can change the position of where all this sort of stuff is, etc. It's really, really, really easy to, to mess with and really lightweight. You can change how the icons look, what's on them, all that sort of stuff. You can use, you can change highlighting when stuff gets used, etc. You can change the priority. What this means is you can change where the different cooldowns actually show. So if you change PvP Trinket from 16, it's going to move it, right? So you can ch you can spend some time adjusting that to the way that you like it. And then finally, you can change what spells are showing, right? So right now we have these shown for Priest. Mainly these I keep for myself so that I can see my own sort of cooldowns without, you know, like the micro cooldowns without having to check down here all the time. Usually I check down here for the bigger cooldowns. But again, that's a, a, another matter. But so, yeah, you can turn stuff off and on. Super handy. This one over here on the right is Gladi. And Gladi is, I'd say, the best arena frame add-on available on Wrath Arena. Your other option is essentially S Arena, which is a more stripped-down version. You don't have the cooldowns. I don't like the looks of it as much. Um, you don't have the totem plates. We've got totem plates that appear against shamans as well. People ask me about that. What, what's the thing showing the totem pulse timer on Tremor and things like that? That's that's part of Gladi as well. You can also assign clicks on Gladi. That's another question I get. Oh, yeah, I can't set my focus bar cli while clicking. There's a module for that. You just need to enable it. That's not a reason to use Serena over Gladi. And, yeah, so you can... you can Same as Omni CD as well in terms of the options. You can choose what cool lands show, where they show all that good stuff. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to say about it. You see the DRs, you see pretty much everything that you need to see with regards to the enemy team. So I'm going to let the clip play in a little bit now, and we'll, we'll see a couple of things here. So if I go back, so at the top here, you see a little, little bar going across. This is actually a add-on called 5 Second Rule. And this is just telling me, okay, when does my spirit kick in? While this bar is going across, you're going to get mana from MP5. You're not going to get the, the full spirit regen mana value. So once this, this bar hits here, then that's when you're full spirit re regening. You can take advantage of that. It's not as big as in TBC, but you can definitely take advantage of that to get more mana overall. Keep in mind, if you use a spell that doesn't cost mana, it won't proc the five second rule. Now we also have another weak aura here or eight, rather the first weak aura, which is a shield weak aura. And this shows me, if somebody's shielded, I'll get a number on the raid frames. This will show me how much they're shielded for. At the end of the video, I'll show all, all the weak auras in a list so that you can see what I've got. So next thing we see here is big debuffs. This shows me anything that's magic and dispellable that is relevant. So CC, roots, slows, appears really big here. And this makes it very obvious when somebody has something that I'm like, crap, need to get that off fast. Can't miss it. Like if you don't have this and it's just down here and it's really hard if you're playing the game to see this tiny little thing here. Whereas if this pops up, you know that there's, you know, you'll see this no matter where you're looking. Now we've got another little mana bar thing going across here. This this top one is actually Rapture. 
So this is the cooldown of Rapture. Rapture has a 12 seconds cooldown from when it can proc. So when you see this going across, it means the Rapture can't proc again. So if you're th if it's got like three seconds left and there's not a lot going on, and you're thinking, oh, maybe I should reshield. Maybe you can hold off on it for a little bit longer so that, that when that shield pops, you're going to get the Rapture from it again immediately. We had another one there that... Okay, so here we've got a cast bar. This is actually a weak aura as well. And it will show my party members' casts. Uh, you can obviously move this around wherever you like. I like it at the very top. This is something that I use mostly with mages. But you can use it obviously with, with anything you like. But the main, main reason I like it with mages is I can see when he's going for a shatter and try and time my damage with it. And I can also see when he's going for a sheep. So, for example, against Pala Warrior. Sometimes the Pala's in a sheep and the mage wants to sheep the warrior. He wants to swap it over. So I can see when that cast is going. And usually when the cast is about there, you know, a good, like, 50-60% of the way through, I drop the fear. And this will fear the Pala and the warrior. The warrior usually zerks this fear. But because he's zerked, he's now on global cooldown. And um, he's going to have trouble spell reflecting. So again, here, this is why Gladi is good, right? It shows it shows the sheeps, it shows the AMS, a lot of valuable information here. You can also see it above them on nameplates. This is part of, part of big debuffs as well, the buffs and debuffs over nameplates. So if you're interested in that, that's big debuffs. The add-on at the very bottom of the screen here is called Nug Key Feedback. And this is essentially just showing the button that I'm pressing always. People ask what that is. This is for streams benefit mainly. On my Alliance, I haven't got it on my Horde, but on my Alliance, I've got a Shadow Fiend Weak Aura, which when I've spawned the Shadow Fiend, it puts a little bar here. And if the Shadow Fiend gets CC'd, you'll be able to see the CC large, like big debuff style next to it. So I'm tempted to adjust it slightly and make it play a sound when the Fiend gets CC'd as well to make it super obvious so that I know when I need to dispel my Fiend. Obviously, we can see all the cooldowns nicely grouped per class here. So if you're like looking, and, and you know, if, you, if you're just using Omnibar, for example, to, to track enemy cooldowns. It's not bad, but you can also can't see what's available at all times. Like you don't you don't want this massive clump for for everyone, right? Because it's just gonna be one massive thing in the middle. Uh this separates it nicely so you know exactly where to look if you're like checking for like DK Strang or like DK grip or something like that. It's always gonna be in the same place. We also have an add-on called diminish up here. This is another one. And this shows the diminishing returns on friendlies, right? So on myself, I know I'm on poly slash rep DR. I'm on the control stun slash hodge DR. And I'm on silence DR here. Uh, and it also shows for party here. And so if it was on the major, it would show just there. I'm, ch I'm actually thinking about moving this. Not sure exactly where yet, but yeah. The issue is that my real estate on the... Frames is really, really kind of not cluttered, but there's something showing somewhere on it at all times. So it's tricky to figure out where I'm going to put it. I might just move it back to the top right again because the cast bar isn't always up there anyway. Um, if you're wondering about the target of target, it's moved up here with a script. So we've got this up here with a script. Class colored nameplates and 41 yard range is also a script. Removing griffins is a script, but you can do it with various add-ons. I've also got my focus cast bar just moved slightly above instead of below so that it's easier to track. What's tracking enemy GCDs on their nameplate? That's also a weak aura. Good shape. Forgot about that one. That's a really valuable one, actually. Does your weak aura on shield numbers on party slash raid frames take into consideration if you have the overpower debuff from warriors? If not, is there a way to modify it so that it does? So I recently tried to... So there's actually a thing in Arena, right? Where if you join as a healer, you have minus 10% healing. This is actually not included in the add-on. I've been trying to make it so that it, it does include that, but there was some issues with it. There were some errors, so it's still, you know, a work in progress. But, like, the numbers may be slightly off, but it's like you can almost consider it a percentage, right? So when number low, consider reshielding sort of thing. So, like, the exact number isn't that important. Uh... As opposed to, you know, seeing that there's not that much value left in the shield, you know, potentially you can you can reshield right now, or you can potentially, you know, if you have Rapture available, wait for it to to go and then reshield that kind of thing. So it it just gives you a little bit more info that you can just check. 
and understand when the shield is going to break because it actually is relevant in wrath i'll go through my add-on list as well so advanced interface options is just this literally what it says it's stuff that's not available in the ui for interface options and you can also see all the essentially the scripts that you can change I'll run there as well, the C bars. Tanking just broken. Next, we've got Arena Binds. Shut the door. How did you show raid frames without being in a group? Oh, it's just Omni CD test mode. I should turn it off. Um, so yeah, next we've got Arena Binds, which is just, um, if you go here, um, and then Targeting, it adds this section, so that you don't need to make macros for it, so you can save some UI space. Uh, then we've got Arena Analytics, which is the match history add-on that we're working on. This will be public soon, TM. We are correcting some last errors and adding some features. Uh, so yeah, I give it give it a couple of weeks and that should be publicly available Then we've got what else is relevant for PvP obviously big debuffs we talked about Details is good for breaking down Games deaths losses comparing your healing to enemy damage to enemy dispels all this good stuff So I recommend grabbing that if you want to analyze your games Diminish we've talked about five second rule we've talked about uh, Focus dispel it, was, it wasn't a weak aura, actually it was an add-on, was the one where it shows the dispellable um, debuffs only uh, on the frame. Then we've got item rack, obviously just standard, when you mouse over items you can see the different ones, you can switch to them, etc. Not really that much of a PvP add-on, but still handy. Um, my slot is good if you've got alts, you can copy your binds and, uh, and, you know, locations, all that good stuff over macros as well. Obviously, nug key feedback we've talked about, omni bar we've talked about, omni CD we've talked about. Save queue is handy if you want to see how long's left in the queue to prevent missing queue because of taking too long doing a quest or something. Uh, and then weak auras. So yeah, that's that's all of the add-ons I'm currently using. If we want to take a quick look at the weak auras, as I said, the the arena pie cast. Uh, we've got the CC on pet. In a fire reminder is another one. This one just pops up when I don't have in a fire, or if the stacks are low, it's handy. We've got power word shield amount, the rapture weak aura, and then the nameplate cooldowns or GCDs. We've also got when games end. We have the MMR display. Everything else I'm not really using at the moment. So not too many weak auras. If there was any add-ons that you were wondering about, that's the names of them all. If you would like this exact UI, including... Oh, there's Eli. Um, oh, you can't see my cams anyway. Yeah, if you would like this exact UI, uh, we've got the weak, or the weak auras, the UI, the UI profiles, all in the Discord, in the sub-channel. Uh, and you can just grab it straight from there. And essentially copy paste it so that you don't have to spend ages configuring it since I've done all the work for you. But yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've uh, all I've got to say on the matter. If you do have any other questions, let me know in the comments.